Namaste and uh, yes, I'm back again on the virtual platform. Today I would like to discuss about uh, a very important thing and this is all about the four pillars of yoga. Now when we say that, uh, for example, if there is a building, now that building should have a good foundation stone good base and only if it is having good pillars then the building is strong so in the same way if uh, we follow the four pillars of yoga in our day-to-day -day life uh, concerning about the lifestyle which we live the food habits so all the four pillars if taken care we have a strong base and that is going to build up our immunity system as well. What are these four pillars? They are Ahar, Vihar, Achar, Vichar. In today's video, I'm just going to give you a glimpse about what these four are. And in the forthcoming videos, I'm going to take each one of them and talk about it in more details. Aha meaning whatever we are feeding ourselves with. So that means the food, the water supply, whatever nutrients are going in the system. So that is aha. When we say vihar, vihar means deep, long relaxation like walking, some recreational activities. That is Vihar. Third is Achar. That means routine. Are we all following some kind of a routine in our day-to-day -day life? If yes, how is the routine? Are we planning our routine? Do we have a map chart? We will talk about it. And fourth is Vichar. Vichar meaning thoughts. Our mind is full of thoughts and these thoughts can be positive, these thoughts can be negative, these thoughts can be neutral. So how the thoughts, our routine, our food and the kind of recreation which we are doing, all these form the four pillars of yoga. So it is very important that we take care of these four pillars to stay healthy, happy and definitely this is going to give us more positive energy. So today I just wanted to give you a little brief about the four pillars of yoga and in the forthcoming sessions we will be talking about these four elements much in detail. Till then stay fit, stay healthy, Namaste.